GTA fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we're here today doing the Alpha 9 Experimental. This is the arid hard start that we've been working on for a couple days. Um, and I haven't died yet. So I'm level 5. Um, and what that means is we can make the the cargo extenders for HVs, which are going to help us a lot because we can make actually some some high volume HVs now, even though that we're only level five. But first, I want to show you how we're going to utilize base containers to build with, with our survival constructor. So the container itself, uh, last episode you remember that we put down the container. We could pick it up ourselves and put it in our inventory. It wasn't overly big that way. So we made it in the constructor. We put it in our inventory and then we place it on the base. We could only put about eight blocks of concrete on our inventory at a time. So it took a bit to put down the slab, but not that bad really. I mean, you just got to adjust to the first initial bit. Now that we have this box here though, I'm going to show you what we can do. You notice that we have the Wi-Fi signal right here. And that means that we can connect to the base. So from here, stand, standing beside our, I'll just face the, from standing beside our um, constructor here, we can go into the Wi-Fi menu and you'll notice that there are only player or base uh, selections right now. Um, make sure that your player selection is on the right hand side and whatever cargo container you want to connect to is on the left hand side. Select your Wi-Fi connect. That will now create a toolbar that's connected to whatever you have selected here when you did your Wi-Fi connect. So now we can actually put stuff in our toolbar that's going to take up a volume of up to 16,000 storage units. So we can either do one item of 16,000 storage units of mul or multiple items that make that total up to 16,000 storage units. Also, we cannot exceed the amount of blocks in this window. Basically, that's it. If we fill up this window with stuff that doesn't fill up the volume, well, then that's full. It doesn't matter. It doesn't necessarily have to fill up the volume if there's no space left. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is people were like, it's impossible to actually do this with the weight restrictions. Well, we've been doing it with the weight restrictions. I also went mining, and it just, all I did was I went and emptied out my inventory and just had bare minimum stuff with me. Some uh, biofuel, my drill, uh, the motorcycle, the, um, the heater cooler, and make sure you have all those in your inventory so that you can see how much volume that all weighs. And then go out, do your mining, fill your inventory up. But while you're doing that, make sure your motorcycle is in, in your inventory. I know it takes up quite a bit. The only problem is you'll run into sometimes when you want to go put the motorcycle down and you accidentally try to pick it up and boom, it crates itself because you don't have the space. Now all of a sudden you're like, oh crap, I got to throw stuff away. So you know what, just, just sacrifice a bit of space anyway. And, uh, or, or look, be observant while you're picking stuff up to see if your volume is going to hit the point where you can't pick up your motorcycle anymore or anything else that you have on the ground, like your heater cooler or any other, you know, um, items. So let's go into our, now that we have this activated as our toolbar, the cargo box on our base, we can now grab things that are like, look at this. This is 2,500 um, storage units. 
2.5K storage units. So we would never be able to pick this up. Like that's just, that ain't gonna happen. It's not gonna let us. See, we can't put it in our inventory, but we can put it in the cargo box inventory slot. Then from there, now we have this in our inventory slot. Okay, well, we we can either place it down or go into our Wi-Fi and put it in the container. Now, you also notice that when it's connected into our thing, if we disconnect, it goes in the container. So, if you want to, you can connect your container, fill up your toolbar with stuff, now, if this glitches out, I'll item menu the stuff in. So we got a cockpit for HV. We got the mo mobile constructor because I'm not going to run around and rebuild all this stuff if it glitches out and we lose it because it it there is bugs with the inventory right now. But I'm just showing you if it doesn't bug out, how convenient this is. <laughs> okay. So let's say we have our toolbar full of stuff. We would never be able to carry all this crap, and we're like, oh crap. Something happens, we end up moving too far away or something. We disconnect, it all goes back into the container that we had linked to. So, as long as that worked good, good. They're supposed to, there are hot fix that was supposed to fix that. So, think it looks like it did fix that. It's, it seems to be working. Uh, and now, you know, once we get back into range, we can relink. This stuff is sitting in our cargo container waiting for us. And you'll notice the volume is, is quite high because it's for, we're, we're at a quarter of the volume of the large cargo container already. A quarter of the volume of the large cargo container. Okay, so that's how you transfer stuff. That's how you get stuff onto your base. That's how you're going to do it building currently with the current system how it works and yes you can people are saying it's impossible no it's not I just proved it's not I just proved it's not you can do it with the current logistics it's a pain in the ass yes but it's doable all we got to do is think differently and and etch a sketch everything that we've done in the past don't etch a sketch the enjoyment you had of the game, but etch a sketch what you, how you did things in the patch, past. Take an approach, a brand new approach to the game, and think of it like you've never played this game before. So that the the tedium of the survival is just part of the initial game. So it's not, it's nothing different to new players. They will, they will come to understand it and accept it. And it's, and I actually kind of like it to tell you the truth. Um, I like the weight restrictions. It makes sense and it's functional right now. So you know what? It's, they're going to tweak it a little bit. It'll just get better. It'll just get better. I already like it. It'll just get better. They just got to fix the bugs. That's all. That's all. Uh, their, their vision is coming together and I'm liking it. I didn't think I was going to, but I am. I am. I'm actually really liking the vision. Okay. So, um, we can actually do the craft small generator, craft fuel tank thing. Now, from what I heard in the forums, if we we can substitute the we can substitute the solar capacitor and solar panels for those two items, and they should com complete the quest. So let's do that. We're gonna build a solar capacitor, capacitor, and we're gonna build five small panels. Uh, they weigh 60, and those have no volume to them. They just have mass, so they just take up a, a, a spot. That's interesting that they have no volume to them. They're not airtight either, but they have two tons of mass. Holy crap. Holy crap. Now, 
I'm not going to put these down and activate them yet because I still don't trust the fact that we're not going to get a drone piece attack. <laughs> we're going to test that. That's all. We got to test that, okay? But I'm going to be I'm going to put on my tinfoil hat and just think that it's bugged and we're going to get attacked anyway. I don't know why that doesn't matter. These all my food's going to spoil if I don't do something about it fast. You know what? We don't need to make all these and craft fuel tank it didn't actually it we got the small generator but we didn't get the fuel tank um i'm wondering if you need to craft the larger ones from the from the constructor hmm. okay um so currently we have two of those. I mean, we, I guess we could power up the base. If I was going to power up the base, that means we get the constructor up onto the base first. We move all the stuff into it after we build the two power up items. And we queue up weapons and ammo that we're going to need. I currently, uh, what did I take? I have no, I have three unlock points. Crap, I don't, did I even take any weapons? Yeah, I took the assault rifle. Okay. Okay, so we can do that. We can make the assault rifle and we can take on a drone if it comes with an assault rifle. So let's try that. Let's try that. So we're going to test this. Let's make five more or three more then. Uh, we do have quite a few resources enough to do this. No problem because I went out. Like I say, I went and iron and copper, I went and made one run uh, mining and I got about 75 of each ore. Um, so that topped us up there. This was all just from surface rocks. Silicon was pretty easy to find because it's just, it's everywhere around water now. So, okay, let's make, uh, we're going to make three more of those because I don't want to make too many of the small ones. They're not very efficient. I want to get the large constructor going and make larger ones. By upgrading to them and but that's going to be down the road right now we just need to get this up and running so we could um, that's 60 I think that's gonna win away 300 for all five that's good that's fine because I want to move these away from the base um, yeah, yeah, about to leave the logistics network. I know. So that's the other problem, too, is we can't get very far. Like right there, we're done. We're done. We can't We can't go further than that. So we got to stay close to the base to keep the logistics network up until we build Wi-Fi uh, uh, connector. Then that'll give us uh, about 100 meters. Which is actually not bad, because then you stroll in with your HV uh, at 100 meters. You just dump all your stuff off. You don't even need to come into your base anymore. You, it, it's it's awesome, really. You guys are going to like it. You guys are going to like it. I'm, I'm positive you're going to like it. I liked it, and I'm a harsh cynic. I'm a harsh cynic, so. Okay, here we go. It's ready. So what I'm going to do is I am going to... N while looking at the base, and I'm going to connect to base. Just hit N to get rid of that. That'll allow me to actually place, see I can place this anywhere, it's just on ground now. Um, now, unfortunately, the Wi-Fi connect is not going to work for this because I want to move out of range. So I'm just going to stick this in here for now. I'm going to put this into my, that's why I was counting to see how much it was going to weigh, because it's going to weigh 300, I can do it, no problem. Uh, okay, so we, uh, here I'll show you, we'll, when we leave too far, it disconnects, and our toolbar will vanish. Boom. Um, so, this is a nice flat area to expand out into, I don't necessarily want to take it over. Maybe up here a little bit further. Can I 
expand out and across there. Okay. Well, really, I mean, we can go way up here. We can put this out of the way. Let's just put it up out of the way then. Okay, so let's put this in our toolbar. And we're going to place these down. Let's see, we want... We just want the flat ones. And we're just going to connect them all together here. Oops. Now that sucks because I don't have a tool. I'm not going to pop that off. It's just going to have to uh, be crappy. Okay, so you can see that we have Wi Fi Connect here though because now we're close to base items. So we could technically keep ranging out, placing items until we hit the extent of the max range of the core, which I think is 300 meters. I think you can't build out past 300 meters in any direction from the original core placement. Okay, so... Let's just, oh, crap. No oxygen. That was silly. <laughs> Kill myself. Wow, that was like insto-death, too. I just bumped the uh, my helmet off. It was like, I instantly took damage from that. Holy crap. You used to have a grace period before, but I think that grace period got eaten up by by my, uh, well, you know what? No, I never went, I never actually went into a deficit oxygen thing. So I don't know. I guess I can't hold my breath anymore. Whatever, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, Band-Aids now heal. Let's use one of those. Let's use one of those. It's not much. It's a bit. It's like 90 or something like that, or 70. 50. That's okay. Hey, it's something. It's better than nothing, right? Um, okay, so now that we have... Let's just get up here. Let's reconnect. Hit our F4 for our Wi-Fi. We're going to now put the large, we're actually going to reconnect here. We're going to put the constructor down um, and I'm going to leave a block space like that because we're going to have walls going up behind this thing. I just don't have them in place yet. So I'm going to put that there. We're going to be putting another cargo box down for output. But now that we have this in, we can go in it and it wants an input output. It has to be from the base. We can't select something other than what's already at the base. So we can select the cargo container as our input now. And we can select it as our output. Um, what we can do now, because we have a better constructor available to us, we can put all this into here. We can put all this into our toolbar because we'd no normally not be able to carry it all at once. And we're going to be using a lot of carbon substrate now. I was looking at everything, all the anything that uses those those nanotubes uses carbon substrate. It's actually a huge volume of carbon substrate is needed now in everything. So that's just fiber and stone. So it should be readily available to make. You don't have to worry about um, the old plastic where... So now, oops, yeah, we can't access items directly from the constructor anymore. We'd have to access... We can hit F to access the container that the constructor is connecting to. Uh, now, if we if we just shift click, nothing happens. If we right click, nothing happens. If we left click, we can pick it up and put it in here. We can also we should be able to just disconnect 
I mean, this is a lot. If it bugs out, I'm going to replace this. So that's 74 silicone and 100, 100 carbon substrate. That's all I really care about. Okay. And it dumped it all in there. So that's how you can quickly just switch stuff over. Uh, okay, so now that we have stuff in the constructor input, let's go in and you can see that a bunch of stuff is available now. Um, we have some carbon substrate in there, not enough though. Now, if you look, we have a much bigger selection of stuff we can make. We can now make the HV controllers and cargo extensions. So, but we can also make our assault rifle. So what I need to do is I need to get fiber in here. I need to get all the other stuff that we need for ammo. So I'm going to put that in there. And we're not sleeping yet. I want to get this base powered up because I, I don't want, I want to try and get this stuff before it spoils. I want to try and salvage some of this food before it spoils. Okay, so we have fiber. Is that all the fiber we got? Yeah, okay, that's fine. And really? That was all the fiber we had? We have no log. Oh, yeah, we got logs there. And stone dust. And okay, I can't. Oh yeah, uh, that's 90. 90, that'll be fine. I can pick that up. Okay, so so those of you that still like walking up to stuff, you can still walk in up to the container, access the container directly, and dump your stuff in. Or you can do the fast boop, everything in, but then it's going to dump stuff that you don't want in. Um, unless you put it all into your taskbar and then do that. So not too bad. That's pretty cool. Uh, you can already see the potential for some very cool dynamics here because now we can select, if we had another container down, we could select a different input or output. So we could, we could output to a fridge, for example, or another cargo or uh, ammo controller or a harvest control. Oh, wait, no, I don't think you can put harvest controllers on bases. There's that would be silly. Anyway, you can put it to a cargo controller or an ammo controller uh, or a fridge and literally just have purpose built constructors with purpose built chains. And so uh, that fridge could then be the input for, uh, let's say, a um, something, I don't know, something that needed, uh, so, so like the, let's say the fridge, well, I don't know why we connect to a fridge. I guess the fridge could be the input for a food processor that needed xeno substrate and other things that, the, that this would make. And then, yeah, I mean, there's tons of possibilities. So same thing, a fridge could dump stuff into here directly, like maybe some uh, nutrient solution. And then this could just automatically be spinning up uh, grow plots and spitting them out to like a different container specifically that you have all your gardening stuff into. So it's, it's really awesome. And then that gardening container could actually be what you connect to and you're, and you're using to lift all the plots out of there and, and deploy the plots. So it's a different mindset. It's a different dynamic. Let's queue up a gun now that we got the stuff in here and we're going to queue up some bullets. They're really expensive though. Copper ingots are four. Ugh, crazy. Oh, well, I need... I, I'm going to need at least 250. Okay, so we'll leave that turned on. Also, what we're going to do is, let's see. 
we can't actually see what our output is currently. Now, you'll notice that we have a CPU count already of 100, which is kind of disappointing. I'm not sure if we're ever going to get a way to increase our CPU, but whatever, maybe. They'll look at that. That would really suck if you can't make giant bases anymore and giant spaceships. Okay. Um, well, we could... Nope, that was the wrong one. We could connect up to here. Oh, actually, you know what? We, uh, yeah, that doesn't matter. We can just, that's small enough. It has no volume. Um, let's put this over here in this corner. So we're going to have other cargo. This is going to be a very temporary base, let me tell you. Okay, so as soon as I power this up, we, we are probably going to get attacked. So the other thing I want to do is before I power it up, aha, so those, you can see that we actually have battery power all of a sudden of 32. It's because I put out those solar panels ahead of time. And for some reason, they collect a whole bunch of power. And then when you connect the solar panel afterward, it, it dumps all that power in uh, bulk. So it wants us to craft a fuel tank. I'm not going to. So we're just going to complete that. Okay, so we'll do the basic, basic exploration one. Uh, we'll let that queue up. Take some oxygen here. Okay. So, we've got sunlight coming. So we should be able to see the drones when they do come. I was a little leery about being dark. Uh, and also the... You know what we need to do? You know what we need to do? Let's let's grab. I think we need to make some more concrete blocks. Let's. We can grab some more stone. Stone is easy enough to get. That'll make us seventy blocks. You get uh, two. Two concrete blocks per stone. Basically, that's how it works out. Okay, so we'll put that in there, and we will make concrete with it. And that'll plow through, making us blocks. This will be our walls. It'll give us a little bit of cover. Okay, so how is our oxygen stuff doing? Not too bad. Not too bad. Put all this into the container, storage container, and did I, what did I do with all the biofuel? It's right there. Let's, that weighs quite a bit. You can see we're already half full just with the oxygen and biofuel. So be careful not to overfill yourself and be screwed. Uh, okay, so let's fuel this up a bit more. I can't see us going anywhere and from this spot immediately, so there's there's no harm in continuing to power these. So we're so far ahead of the game now. Now you notice that the emergency O2 only have mass, they do not have volume, where the small O2 bottles actually have volume. So uh, you probably don't want to hold carry these with you into a raid, you're going to want to carry the small O2, and you can only make those with the emergency constructor in your suit. So keep that in mind. Water bottles also take up one storage unit per, so you can't carry very many of those. Uh, we have link enable, so let's do this. We can just go like this, dump this stuff in here. So we're getting a good surplus of, of oxygen built up now. You can see I was able to dump it out, dump it in there without even having the Wi-Fi connect. You don't necessarily have to be connected to Wi-Fi to transfer stuff. You can just 
you can just transfer stuff if you if you got the windows open together. Okay, so now that the sun is coming up, this should should be powering up even better. Our current output is 29 kpu. Um, and our consumption is nothing. We're already up to 33 battery. So it doesn't seem like that's going up at all, does it? Maybe we've got to turn it on now. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to turn it on. Okay, so right away we're going to, we're going to, our battery is going to tank because um, our consumption is 500 and something. See that? Because we've got like four seconds, really. Four minutes, I guess. So once this makes our gun. And that was part of the next part of the um, thing anyway. So kind of want to keep it in the order that it's telling us. Just to see if it actually makes sense for starting players to be able to do it in the order that they're suggesting. Okay, good. So that now spun up stuff. We can actually technically turn that off and it'll stop consuming power. The base continues to consume power if it's turned on though. And you'll notice because the the CPU itself consumes um, or is it six, I think six, and then the the cargo box is one. So I think I think a CPU just by itself is five, maybe. Anyway, so because I don't think this has consumption. <clears throat> no. It's just basically a fuel tank. It's like a fuel tank generator combo almost. Almost. Okay. Uh, well, there you have it. We have, that's how you build now in the game with your Mob, uh, portable constructor making overweighted items. You have to unlock the level one cargo box for the base, place down a car, make one, place down the box, link to the base. Then you can lift higher, heavier stuff and put them on your base. And there we go. So now we actually have, oh, speaking of, let's get us our weapon. Just shuffle that stuff along. We'll put this in here. You notice how much volume that took up. So about a thousand rounds is going to take up one fifth of your of your volume. So remember that you can't be carrying everything with you into a POI anymore. You need a long Wi-Fi range vehicle of some sort to support you if you want to loot <laughs> if you don't want to loot then whatever you can just go up to it attack it and run away i guess you know if that's what you want to do um okay i never got a signal saying that we're going to be under attack so i guess i'm just going to take it at face value that that is the case that we will not be getting attacked so if that's the case, I'm, I'm actually happy with continuing with some construction here. We're going to build a fridge. Excuse me, I got hiccups all of a sudden. Uh, fridges, that's the, I'm just making sure I'm building the right one. And electronics, nanotubes. See, this takes a whole bunch of, we can do it, and it's going to take up a whole bunch of our carbon substrate. Let's see. One fridge, we'll turn this on. Ah, three, three carbon substrate, that wasn't so bad. 
because it only needed three nanotubes. Okay. I want to get this down and get our food in it. So the um, food processors no longer have any capacity, so therefore they are no longer a fridge. You cannot use your food processor by itself anymore. It needs something, a container of some sort. So we aren't Wi-Fi linked in. Let's Wi-Fi link in. We'll just grab this. So we got to get used to doing that. Link in. we got to get used to doing this. Um, it's just make it a habit, basically. Make it a habit. So where can we put this? I want to put it over here. And we'll put a, yeah, we'll put it there. That's fine. Okay, so now I should be able to transfer all of my stuff. Nope, yep, we got out, out of the range there. Did we, nope, we didn't lose Wi-Fi Connect. So do I not have, here, let's just grab this stuff. This isn't doing anything. I need to uh, go get a whole bunch more wood. Okay, so we can grab all this stuff. And actually, I could have put it directly in there, but now that I have it on me, actually, let's grab this other stuff. Let's grab as much as we can, because this is all kind of food processor sort of stuff. And we're going to make one of those pretty quick here, too. Okay, so let's connect to our Wi-Fi. <clears throat> we're now going to get a drop down for our fridge, whoops, because that's considered a container, so we can put, oh, did I mix up my food? I did. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We have a fridge now. And I'm going to put all the food processor type stuff in this fridge also. The reason being is the food processor can only have one input at a time and one output at a time. So if you have a complex uh, item that you need to make, everything needs to be in the fridge that you're pulling it from, basically. <clears throat> Including, like, dirt and stuff. So, yeah. I know. It, it just, it it's kind of crazy, but that's the way it is. Okay, so we can put this in our toolbar. We have 70 we can build with at once. So that's how you stack up your toolbar. You need the appropriate size container to hold all of those. So that would be, jeez, uh, that's about 4,000 SU right there. So the only way to do that is with a base or with a very large uh, storage unit capacity container of some sort. So let's get our walls up here. Let's quit Gavin and we'll get, get these walls up. not going to have enough but it'll be it'll be a start oh really <laughs> oh that was just that was just mean i have no way of getting rid of those blocks now fucking sorry didn't mean to swear it's just the glitchiness sometimes of the drone placement can Wow, like that, it's <laughs> that was a waste of blocks, which I can't really afford right now. Okay. Uh, well, that really sucks. That's okay. Let's get as much of this covered as we can. Not much, not much. We need to go get more stone. And the funny thing is, there is nothing. Oh, well, we got a couple here. So let's see what we can do. We have to tab to get back into our other. Uh, well, I'll have to look in to see, see what the hotkeys are. Obviously, there's a hotkey to switch that. Um, and I just don't know what it is right now. I'll have to look that up. Maybe one of you guys can tell me. So we're going to. No, not ground drill. We're going to rock drill this. And oh, yeah, the bug. They'll fix that. It's not really a showstopper. 
and see we can still pick stuff up it's just it's just leaving the the icon of the item behind not that big of a deal we can get some of this stuff no it's hard to there it is drone can get right down inside the rocks we got a critter over there How you doing, buddy? Ooh. Is that his, like, mouth? Oh, I, ooh, um, hmm. Really? Really? Did you, did you guys have to make that on there? <laughs> oh, wow, that's awesome. <laughs> Sorry, I know the, the stupidest things amuse me. <laughs> I guess kudos for realism. <laughs> uh, uh, awesome. Awesome. Oh, hey, that rock disappeared when I popped it. Okay, so the other reason I was doing this is... You notice that our Wi-Fi is still, we're still connected to Wi-Fi. So if I bring up my Wi-Fi, it shows that we're connected to the cargo container, not the fridge, because we didn't disconnect and reconnect to the fridge. If we look into a cargo container, we have all of a sudden crushed stone in there that we didn't have. Why is that? Well, because we're Wi-Fi'd into it, our our toolbar is connected to it, it will automatically take our stuff that we mine and harvest and put it into the Wi-Fi connected container. How freaking cool is that, right? Right? That's awesome. It is good. It is good, guys. So this is big sweeping changes but I think they're for the better well I'm gonna leave it here uh, we did awesome this was more of a tutorial really on how to grab stuff and do it and we're not getting attacked so cool we've got a fridge up we've got a powered base up and running we've got constructor we're doing we're solid now we're solid now um, let's get some more let's get some more concrete You know what? Actually, I want to take I want to take the concrete out of here, or the um, sorry, not the concrete, the stone out of here. So that'll make forty. You know what? That'll make sixty. That should do it. That should do it. Let's put that here. See, the other way to put mass amounts of stuff into your Emergent or not emergency, but uh, portable constructors is the same way. Have it in your toolbar, in your Wi-Fi Connect toolbar. Tab in. Your toolbar is still active on your Wi-Fi d device, so you just grab it and place it in. Simple as that. Okay, it's not that complicated, guys. People are freaking out about how difficult and complicated this is with the weight system and it's not i'm proving it's not it's actually doable in its current state and they're just going to make it better okay it, it's going to get better mark my words on it it's already good i'm enjoying it i'm having fun and really that's all that matters so suck it up buttercups uh, it's a, we just got to do it a different way now. We just got to do it a different different way. I'm going to get this going, and we're going to build some concrete. I'm going to go get some more stone. And make, what, 60? 60? Yeah. yeah, good. That might give us a roof. Might give us a roof just in case that uh, radiation comes. We should be protected from the radiation if we're far enough back in the building the, the roof should protect us uh, same with um, 
well, not the heat. We can't get away from the heat without putting our heater cooler down or just going into the water. And can I... No. I don't care if I lose Wi-Fi. I need to cool down. There we go. We lost Wi-Fi. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to put a Wi-Fi signal on there. And I don't think I've learned those yet. I learn them. Is that a base item? Uh, miscellaneous. Yeah, I haven't learned it yet. I do have 23 points. Let's learn it. Let's learn it. That's why I save these points for things that I'm going to need while I'm going along because because the game's changed so much, I don't want to just assume I need something and, and take it anymore. I assumed I needed these because I will. I, I know I will already. <laughs> it's just the way it is okay so there we go we're off to a rock and start um here let's just i'm gonna be standing over here for a while so let's oh i gotta get rid of my connect to base thing when you can't put stuff down it's usually because you're still connected to base now i can put it down there we go and we're happy again there we go yay I'm just going to wait for this thing to finish so that I can place it down. It's almost done. It's almost done. It's almost done. <laughs> and then we'll, then we'll finish off the episode. We'll throw the roof on, finish off the episode. Off camera, I'll keep going and collecting stuff. Now that we got a fridge, um... I should pro oh you know what you know what I should do oops that was stupid that was stupid I'm not connected to Wi-Fi right now so let's pull that out see see how easy it is to do stupid things now I just gotta connect to my Wi-Fi let's go into yeah this is fine this is where I want it this is what can hold it so now that I'm connected I can go back into my here put this on my toolbar We'll launch our drone and we'll get this get this roofed in. I know it's real basic box. Right now this is just a temporary shelter and construction room. Okay, good. Oh, dis despite our our screw up over on the side there, we'll still have enough blocks here to. Uh... Now I guess I could put the ventilator in there, and I'll probably put it in the floor beside the. Okay, so there we go. We've got the makings of our shelter. So now what we can do is here. Let's. Let's go in there. Don't really need to. I could have just used the... Um... I still like walking up to stuff. It's funny. I still like walking up to stuff. Uh... Let's build a door. And did I learn ventilator? Yes, I did. Okay, so we're going to learn ventilator, or we're going to make a ventilator, because I need to seal this in, so I want to get the ventilator in first before I do that. Uh, O2 tanks for base, we'll make a couple of those. It's not a very big base, it won't need much. And then, I don't see it, oh there it is. Let's get real water generators going. We're gonna make um, we're gonna make a, four of those because we're gonna need a ton of them. No, you know what? We don't need four right now. We just need one. <laughs> no, let's do two. Let's do two. Speed up the production a little bit. I just don't have the fuel to do it all, right? That's the problem. Okay. So there we go. We uh, we're getting this set. We can. Grab more stuff, put it in our bar here. 
Uh, I don't need that anymore. We can put that in our bar. We can put this in our bar. We can put, um, yeah, that's enough to seal it up right now. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do that, and we'll call it an episode. So let's put the door in. This will seal it temporarily. Now, do I want it like this to be able to stand outside with, yeah, I like it like that. Okay. Now, you can see the temperature dropped to 22, and we are safe inside here now. We are safe and cozy. Uh, we have no oxygen, though, and so what I can do, what I can do is I'm going to put some oxygen over here. And then when we build the water container, now I also am going to pop the... I need to use my survival tool and go into salvage. I'm just going to pop this here. Come on. We're going to get nothing back. That's fine. Uh, and then you can see the temperatures crank because we're no longer sealed. Yes, the core is airtight, so thank God. Now we can go back into here and put that in. That will reseal us. There we go. As simple as that. As simple as that. Also, I think what I should do is unlock our larger solar panels and put some of those out. So, do I have enough points to do that? 18, that's a base item. And there they are, they're level 3. Um, you know what, I'm going to do projectile turret. And that's it, that's all we can do. Did, did we take an ammo box? No. So we can't actually put the turret up yet anyway, because we didn't make an ammo box. We didn't learn ammo box. What I really want to, I'll learn ammo box controller and the controller is pretty quick too. That's our next goal is getting this stuff learned. Okay, guys, there you have it. We are in a sealed base. Pretty awesome with a constructor, a functional constructor. We've got um, food now that's, that's not going to spoil. And I'm going to, I'm going to make... the larger solar panels now. I'm going to make five more of those. So let's queue up five. Or, no, I wanted five. Sorry. I don't think I have the mats for ten. I probably do. Yeah, I do have the mats for ten. You know what? Let's do ten then. Okay. I'm going to leave the episode here. Uh, next episode, we'll have those solar panels. I'm going to go put those out off camera, not a big deal. You can see how I did it. Um, they weren't very heavy. Oh, wait, were they? Oh, maybe the big ones are bigger. That's okay though, because the other solar panels, I can do the Wi-Fi connect from there and then put them in my bar and attach them. So we're golden. We are golden. We're not gonna run into weight issues because we're thinking ahead, we're doing this right and we're having fun doing it. So, till next episode, guys, you have an awesome, awesome day.